Hi everyone, this is Tracy here. Uh, this is a public service announcement uh, to let you know is early voting is starting uh, actually a lot earlier than expected. So if you want to vote, uh, there are several ways to do this. Since we're on a uh, YouTube platform, uh, which is owned by Google and Alphabet, uh, I'll show you how to uh, how to register to vote and what resources to go to. So just uh, do a Google search and put, put in vote early and then your city and state where you live in. And Google will have the information right here. Uh, uh, how to vote, register to vote, check registration status, and they'll give you all the information there. And then uh, to go to your county website, they will have information as well. So you have all the information there. If you want to learn more about the candidates, uh, go to ballotpedia.org. Uh, they have an assortment of information, especially uh, for your pre your presidential candidates, your state candidates, and then your local candidates. So what we have here is the presidential election. So if I want to learn more about Joe Biden, just click on his name. And then this is his biography and then what his issues are and, and what his views are. So you can take a look at that and it keeps you informed of who these candidates are. If you are 16 years or older uh, and you can't vote, uh, you can uh, go to the polling station because the polls do need a lot of poll workers. So if you want to sign up to be a poll worker in your area, uh, just sign up. Just go to powerthepost.org and just fill out this form and then you'll be signed up to be a poll worker on election day. Why I'm telling you this, although we're an arcade YouTube channel, is that voting is very crucial on not only like in the state level but important in the local level so because local laws makes a lot of difference um from schools um taxes such but also uh, in some states like in new jersey and ohio it does affect um gaming as well so uh so if you don't think elections matter they do if you want to make a difference where you live uh do vote and do vote early uh, because of what the circumstances are. So that is that. I hope you vote, and I will do that as well. And uh, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, everyone. This is Tracy here, and welcome to another episode of Claw by Claw. For this one, we're going to do a little different. We're going to do a quick review on Clary. Um, it is, as you see in the numerous ads you've seen on Instagram, YouTube, others as well, Clary is a... Uh, mo a, a mobile app claw machine you control basically similar to the ones we've shown to to the others um it's been around for a while uh it's it, as i mentioned the mobile ads have been g give them a boost of such but uh i have played this before and i just didn't really like it at the time with the machines like were all similar picking up the price and such and just wanted to check it out and see if they made any changes on that. Well, one of the changes, as you see, is that now they have a web app. They used to be a, just a mobile app only, but now they have a web app so you can play it on your desktop or your laptop. So uh, let's play it now. Now, uh, when you go into Beginner, so you can uh, play, log in um, with your username, password, or log in to Facebook or Google, but you can log in as guest. And when you as a guest, you get a discount, you get 400 coins. Now, I already played previously just to test it out. So, you'll get 400 coins, and then you can play uh, two different games uh, to it. So, you can play uh, different plushes to aim at. So, um, and for this one, this is a little bit easier on this one. So, they make it easier because it is beginner, and then it's 200 coins to give you the, the confidence that you can pick this up. Now, the problem with th this is this. This is fine. The camera set. You like the. I like the design. And then I turned down the music because it would be too loud. But it it, ha it has a good ambience for the younger crowd. But as you see on on this, these uh rotate to different sides, and it doesn't help that much, really. Um, I would prefer an overview over overhead view on this one, but it is what it is. So. And you can grab and such and then you have the uh, the last winch you see which I really like now this I'll show you later on why that's a little bit uh, 
that might be a tell about these machines. But for these, th I'm right now in the beginner um session, so people just play and just try to pick up. And since it's a beginner, the call is much easier. It has a hundred percent grip, uh, strong grip, so you can do it in max strength and then it'll carry through it. Now on the on the first two plays, likely first two plays. You easily get the win. You can ship the prizes or you exchange it to points. Whatever you do, or it's exchange tokens, excuse me. And that's what you want to do with that. Uh, on my end, I did pick up a Hell Kitty and a dinosaur keychain. So that's going to be shipped. That's supposed to be within two to seven weeks. So I don't know why they put that. Well, I understand with international shipping, but domestically, I would say at least two to three weeks. Put it that way. So that's on that play. So let's go back home. So this is the beginner side of things. So so when you start off, you get 200 coins. So you get at least two plays to pick something up. And if you want to ship your prizes, you can. Totally up to you. And now here's the uh, uh, the all. So look at all. So you got a pretty much a, a good discount on these. Um, avocado plush. Coin pushers, but usually these games don't have that much. So let's try. Let's look at the cross eye cat. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, you can probably pick those up and such. And also, um, if you do want to pick up your prizes immediately, uh, you have to be a VIP. So that's on one of these. So that's uh, let's see where this rotation same thing, and I think uh, Chloe has the same issues with the uh, with the same thing. So all right, so I see someone's playing the uh, for the bamboo straws. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's a bit glitchy, and I think there's still is issue to that trying to pick up to that, and this is why it's so hard to try to pick these up because you have to look at on the sides to it, and and as you see, the last one was 13 minutes ago, so it's uh, not there. Let's see, here we go. Nope. Yeah, th this one it's a. Uh, it's more of a round one style where you just you have to hit it one, hold it, and then it goes down to the other or to reverse style essentially. But and that doesn't feel right in this case. Like you have to aim it and such. So it just feels weird. All right. So yeah, th yeah. It's hard to. Uh, Get these controls. You get to aim it, and it, it doesn't go where you want to go on this one on the timing of it. So it's a little bit tough on it. Right, let's see the other prizes they have. So oh, they got a cosmetic bag. Let's see here. That was last one one hour ago. So it might be prime for something. So so the person's going for the corner here, and yeah. Judgment of this is pretty hard to tell on this, so I don't know of it. And it usually for these now for these ones here, if you see it's the last is one hour, it feels like it's more on payout, so it's hard to determine um, where is where this is going to go. Uh, usually, like for thirty minutes, they'll re reset. It, so if someone wins it, they'll with it as such so it's hard to uh decipher if it's a payout or not it likely is payout now for these plushes and i think this is an issue with most of these vendors is this, if you want to make sure if they're licensed or not so these ones right now are kind of like the regular ones um you can get them in china at a cheap price so there's the gengar plush but is it a pokemon licensed plush so that's the tricky part of not knowing this. i wish they had more info on this so yes, the gang of 
Pokemon plush size, but is it a real plush? And I think that's really. I heard some complaints like people got from Corey that it wasn't really exactly that they they got from the mail. So from the game, so it's kind of hard to see. Now I think for this one, it has a certain audience to this. This is more of a feminine uh, claw machine. And obviously with these pictures, it looks, it is really like a feminine claw machine where really when it has a more variety of it, you got games and also a few things, fires for women or girls. This one is more definitely on the, uh, on the feminine side of things. So that's, uh, that's where I think where the audience is on that one. She bracelets. Polka dot dino. Now there's Charmander plush, as you see here. Uh, it was one ten hours ago, so this might be prime for pickup, and it's standing up, so it might be a possibility. But I think on that end, so if you want to get a Charmander, why not pick up this one? And how tall is this? Seven inches. So you can go to all. So you can go, if you want a plush, you can get a plush. If you want a huge plush, you can get a huge plush here. Like these. Oh, you got a broccoli pillow. Interesting. <laughs> On that one. Or oh, corn pillow. And a bubble tea Shiba. All that stuff. So that's on that. So you also have gadgets. You can use not that spectacular gadgets, home goods, eh. it's nothing that interests me. This is why I like Toriba a lot because the gadgets are kind of unique and structured and actually you might want to need uh, to it. Um, so in this case, this doesn't attract me as well. Of course you got jewelry. Let's see, let's see the novelty items. Uh, this one you might be interested in, but nothing interests tops out of me on this one. Accessories. Oh, this is an inflatable costume. Actually, I might need one for Halloween, which is coming up next week, actually. Um. Golden gloves, and then you have advance. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it's here and there. It's a hit or miss. It's if there's some items you like, you can go ahead. Um, not my preference. And then you get harrying stuff, and then you get practice a practice machine, and you take twenty five tokens. So weird. I want to see this practice machine. What this what it does. Oh my god. It's a hook. Uh, oh well. And food, it's just a bunch of areas and such. It's not actual food. Um kind of weird to put it this way. And then you have others as well. Um and also they got upcoming prizes, so you can see what's coming up to it nothing really excites me and then as i mentioned the beginner side of things uh so clory is still i i still wouldn't recommend clory um but if you but i would say this if you're a woman or uh you like feminist stuff this is probably a good one t for you to play with uh i the prizes don't excite me and i'm not sure if i was a woman uh that would excite me as well so it depends if you really love plushes or want collection to it. But also be aware that these plushes, uh, for some of these, they might not be labeled, uh, might not be branded uh, as well or licensed. So that's got to be careful on that end. So uh, that's Clary. Uh, it's not, it depends on who you are. Like If you prefer it, I mean, go ahead. I mean, it is a game. It's your choice. Not my cup of tea, but hey, it's something for my... Uh, nieces and nephews to play. I'll I'll say that. All right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, next week we have a a pretty good episode coming up, and then I'll make uh several different announcements next week according uh, with this channel. 
uh, there gonna be a couple changes that you that you notice. All right, that is that. I will see y'all later. Bye.